that there's lots of new innovation going on in Australia at the moment. And that's why I wanted to try this um, Australian Sauvignon Blanc because it's not a grape we really associate with um, with Australia but they do make very good um, Sauvignon Blanc now this one is called the Deacon Estate and um, 2014 is the vintage it's 10.99 and it's named for um, a man called Alfred Deacon who was a Prime Minister of Australia in 1880 and what he did was he set up a whole irrigation system um, which meant that the vine could be grow- grown in the area and this is Murray River and um, the, this, the estate, the Deacon Estate pro- property was named in honour of this Prime Minister, Alfred Deacon. And the vineyard and winery is located near northwest Victoria and they have about 217 hectares under vine. Um, I just wanted to see what your opinion was of, of, of um, you know, Australian uh, Sauvignon because what they do is they ferment at a low temperature so it's not a big aromatic like the Kiwi one or, you know, you're getting, mm. it's more restrained. There's, and again, because it's quite a warm climate, you're getting much more fruit there like, um, sort of gooseberry green fruit coming through, so I think for ten ninety nine, this is a this is a lovely uh, glass of Sauvignon. I've had to try it. The acidity is there, but it's not kind of overpowering. It's nicely balanced, kind of lemon lime flavors. For eleven euro, not a bad Sauvignon. Uh, not bad at all uh, yeah. for eleven euro, and it's nice to lemon because sometimes it can tip over into kind of a big grape juicy. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, depending on you know. How much, how much time's gone into making it, <laughs> I would have thought.